Hey everyone, welcome to WitCode, where in this video we're going to learn about TypeScript access modifiers, including public, private, protected, and also when to use each. So to begin, what is an access modifier? Well, an access modifier changes the accessibility and visibility of the methods and properties of a class. TypeScript has three different access modifiers. They are public, private, and protected. To begin, let's start with the TypeScript public access modifier. So the TypeScript public access modifier allows the property or method of a class to be accessible everywhere. In other words, both inside and outside the class. As an example, let's create a human class and give it the public properties name and age and the public method say hello. So here, after instantiating a human object, we can access the say hello method, the name and the name and properties, both inside and outside the human class. So we can see we are accessing name and age within here, and also out here, we're accessing the say hello method outside of the class, and we can also access it within it. As you can see, we can just call this method within the class as well. And now, by default, every property and method of a class has its access modifier set to public. In other words, if no access modifier is specified, then it will be public. To demonstrate, let's create a property called favorite food and a method called save favorite food without specifying an access modifier. So here, even though we don't specify an access modifier for favorite food and say favorite food, they become public by default. And as such, they behave just like any other uh, public properties and methods. And also let me just run this to demonstrate it in the console. And then of course we can also log out favorite food. And we can see every method and property is able to be accessed both outside here and then inside the class. And now let's talk about the private access modifier. So the private access modifier limits the property and method to the class. In other words, when a property or method is private, it is only accessible within the class. The main purpose of the private modifier is to hide an object's data from the outside world and encapsulate the object. Let's make a private property of the human class called secret and a private method called say secret. Now, from within the outside the class, let's try and access these properties. You can see we get this property secret is private and only accessible within the class human. And we can see this as we accessed it within this method. We can, of course, access it in within another one. We get no errors. And now let's try and access this private method. And then we get property say secret is private and only accessible within the class human. And so we could use it in here, but not outside the class. And now finally, let's talk about the protected modifier. And the protected access modifier limits the accessibility of a class's properties and methods to the class and its subclasses. In other words, when a class extends a class with protected properties and methods, the child class or subclass and parent class or superclass can access those properties and methods. For example, a subclass of a human could be a student as a student is a human. So let's create a protected property and method in the human class, create a student subclass, and access that property and method.
So here we can access the protected address property and say address method within the student class as it is a subclass of the human class. So student extends human, so human is the superclass, student is the subclass. And as address and say address are protected, so protected method here and protected property here, we can access them within the subclass. So we can say say address and we can say this dot address here. However, the address and say address method are not accessible outside of the human or student classes. This is why we get an error when accessing these properties outside of these two classes. So we can see an error here is protected and only accessible within class human and its subclasses. Same with say address, and this is on using on the student object and on the human object. And now let's just talk about when to use each modifier. So as a general rule, it is good to encapsulate objects and therefore properties and functions should be as private as possible. This leads to better code management and specificity as we know prop where properties are being accessed or changed. Therefore, the private modifier should be used primarily, then protected, and then public. But this was my video on TypeScript access modifiers. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.